Hey guys, it's Charmaine here from BlackHairAndSkincare.com and it's time to take your crown back. Okay, period. Okay, so today guys, I wanna to talk to you about what are the causes of CCCA alopecia? What causes CCCA alopecia? And honestly, before um, this, uh, I would say research was done, to my to my you know my knowledge the only thing that caused ccca alopecia were pretty much hair practices like it's it's different types of hair practices but with the current research that was the um developed in 2019 there is actually more to the story so if you want to hear about it stick around Okay, guys, so before we get into this video, make sure you check out SydneyNicoleHair.com where you get the best raw hair, quality hair, and alopecia-friendly wigs, period. Check us out today at SydneyNicoleHair.com. Okay, so one of the things that were found that caused CCCA alopecia as early as 2019, you guys, okay? So basically, they were finding that a lot of um, African-American women are suffering from this disease and they decided to do an actual study on it. And back in 2019, they found that there was a gene called PAD13. And that gene basically is an enzyme that post translationally modifies other proteins that are essential to hair shaft formulation. I want to make sure I got it right because I look at my notes. So basically, the gene modifies um, proteins in the hair shafts. So basically, it mutates the proteins in the hair shaft. Now, this gene is found more, basically more is highly found. It's like higher levels found in women who are diagnosed with or have CCCA alopecia. And basically what that does is it's a mute mutation. Like it, it basically disturbs the natural hair um, pattern and growth cycle of your hair. It modifies the hair shaft, the proteins in the hair shaft. And if anyone knows about hair care, you know that protein is the building blocks of hair growth. You know, that's why they have things like the keratin um, keratin and deep conditioners and everything like that because we know as far as people in hair care that protein is the building blocks of the hair shaft in the hair so you need protein for the hair basically so this gene basically it is a mute it mutates the proteins that are needed in the hair shaft to to build the hair shaft so that is one of the things that was founded in 2019 um, as the one of the causes of CCCA alopecia. Now, as far as hair practices, hair practices, based on my experience as an African-American woman who was diagnosed with CCCA alopecia in 2014, the hair practices um, in most women um, will agree that can contribute to CCCA alopecia is relaxers. Now, if you guys, and I talk about this all the time, if you guys have not seen the documentary by um, Chris Rock called Good Hair, he had a scientist come in and he had them evalu um, basically evaluate the relaxers and what are the damages that it does to African women, African American um, hair. And basically, the scientist said he didn't understand why any woman would even put that on their scalp on their hair. There are, are if you pass, scientists have seen that the um, hairline, which is an area that most African American women will relax so that they can, you know, blend them with their weave and everything. That area, once an autopsy was done, is black because of the chemicals that are in the relaxers. So he said he didn't even understand why women put that on their hair. And on top of that, with relaxers, in my opinion, they should be banned. They are unregulated chemicals that are put out there for African-American women to put on their hair. And 
they don't care. I mean, look at many women who lost their hair from putting on a relaxer, and I have done videos on that. And it's crazy, me, myself included. So um, the third thing, so relaxers are no, in my opinion. I think that contributes to already having a mutant gene in proteins that regulate the hair shaft, and then you add a non-relaxer on top of that. It's just horrible. And that's why I don't understand why people or hairstylists um, where women who are losing their hair, instead of sending them um, to a dermatologist or a specialist or me <laughs> who can help them grow their hair back, they are actually putting relaxers on top of an already dire situation. So that is a no. Um, a third um, cause of CCC alopecia in regards to hair practices in my opinion, would be tension hairstyles. Now, tension hairstyles, if done improperly, can be by braids. If they're done too tight, or if you have a stylist who braids too tight. Now, in my experience, going to the African braiding shop back in the day, shoot, not too long ago, child. I was there like in 2017, I think, because I think that's the last time I went to the African. But I made sure that I left my edges out because they braid so tight or they'll put too much hair on the braid, which weighs, it's too heavy for your already fragile hair stands, strands. So braids, um, if done improperly. Also sew-ins, if done improperly. Um, I have had a sew-in as early as, what was this? Uh, I think it was the beginning of this year because I was I did a sew and I talked on my videos. If you guys watch my videos, um, for people who are new, that it can cause tension and tension cause breakage. So you have to be careful about the styles that you do in your hair when it comes to CCCA alopecia and any other type of hair loss because you do not want to cause a flare up and you do not want to cause um, breakage. So to recap, the gene PAD13 is found higher in women who have CCCA alopecia and it is basically a mutation of the keratin or protein, I'm sorry, protein in your hair um, that makes up the hair shaft. Also, um, tension hairstyles such as sew-ins, you have to be careful, and braids, you have to be careful. And then lastly, relaxers, um, they are very harmful to African-American hair and scalp. You have to be careful, guys, and especially um, even curly perms. Like those chemicals honestly should not even be regulated um, for, for people to purchase, period. So guys, make sure you comment below. Let me know what you think. What tension hairstyles or practices could you have done um, that could possibly have contributed to hair loss. Or give me your hair um, hair uh, stylist horror stories below. Let me know, you know, what happened. And like, because I know a couple times I couldn't sleep. I'm like, oh, this is too tight. So just let me know your stories below. And make sure you thumbs up and like this video. Share this video. And make sure you um, comment below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Her channel is Black Hair and Skin Care. It's all one word, okay? She is changing the hair game. That's what made me buy her product. I'm using my Sydney Nicole products from blackhairandskincare.com. It feels so good, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Like this peppermint and like massaging it into my scalp. Oh my goodness. The rosemary and peppermint herbal deep conditioner. I've been dying to try this out. I only used the product one time, but it's worth it because my little stubble, this little stubble up here. That was the bald spot. But that's crazy. Yeah. Y'all, let me tell y'all, when I rinse this stuff off my head, my whole, my head was so soft. Even the stubble, y'all know when stubble come in, how it feel all rough and prickly. It was feeling like that prior to me using this. I ain't gonna lie. And when I use this Sydney, Sydney Nicole product, this is the conditioner, and it is infused with peppermint oil. I was like, Ugh. now all this alopecia that I had in my hair, God is good. Yes, yes, edges is back. Okay, 
hair is just, you know, just blooming, okay? Hey, black hair and skincare, send me some products. So wow, and this is my father. So this is where I had most of the hair loss in this area. And as you can see, it's a little frizzy because I have definitely had some growth. Available at blackhairandskincare.com. And as you can see, my edges are doing just fine. Make sure y'all take back y'all crown and shop at blackhairandskincare.com. Seriously, like. It's time to take your crown back. Shop today at blackhairandskincare.com.